today's short walk is to Cadridris. We've just come up from the Guernan Lake Hotel on the Fox's Path. And here, on the left hand side of the screen, you can see Penegader, the summit. There's a beautiful coombe, and you can just make out the moraine, side moraine of the glacier that uh, ran down through the middle of the Malda estuary. And here, this peak is called Kavroy, the saddle. As I pan right, looking down towards the southwest, you can see the shape of the saddle. And there, over there, is the pommel, the beginnings of Tarai Maur, big towers. On the side of Kavroy is an arete. It's a grade 3S scramble around about a thousand feet of alpine style climbing and it's absolutely fantastic. On a day like today you couldn't ask for anything more. Light breeze keep you cool, a bit of sunshine, a little bit of cloud overhead keep the sun off. We're heading up in this direction. Up yonder there's another lake, another glaciation lake, and an Iron Age settlement. We're going to stop there just for a few minutes. So here we are at the lake, and it's not hard to imagine, I don't know, 10, 9,000 years ago, an Iron Age culture living on the shores of this lake. The last remnants of the last glacier, of the immense glacier sheet that covered the whole of this area. We're going to be travelling up over this rock and moraine band, following the path that you can just see, up to Trinagadair. Let's just pan round and look north. Far in the distance. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. There, in the mist and clouds. <laughs> you can just make out the familiar form of Snowden as the clouds whisper across the top. Down below is the Maldach estuary, the Maldach valley. We're actually standing above a fault line and this, this impressive lump of rock that we're walking up the side of. This and the Arran over to the northeast, but all that remain of an immense, huge, massive volcano. 35,000 feet tall into the air. These rocks are known as Cambrian and at one time they were thought to be the oldest and of course they discovered some older ones and called them Precambrian. But these go back, I don't know, 450, uh, maybe 540 million years back to the dawn of time, the beginnings of our planet. And it's such a privilege to be able to walk here. This area is a site of special scientific interest, an area of outstanding national beauty, and a national nature reserve here in Snowdonia. And to be honest, although the younger mountains to the north are nice and craggy and pointy, this area here it just does it for me. This is where my heart is. I love it here. Anyway, onward and upward. Well, here we are. 20 minutes later, we're up at uh, uh, Finnegada. Just above is the Arete. I spotted a couple of people up there just now. Looking over to Bardsea Island, the Thane Peninsula, and there just the tip of a rifle, the rivals as it's called in English. 
over there on the horizon. Okay, well, just pan round the north of the park. And this is where we're going, up Fox's Path. Follows the, just the edge of the Cumph all the way to the top. Penagada behind that lump of rock there. Well, we're on our way down now, and what you can just see in the distance is a ridge on the side of Kung Kai. Well, what I'm actually going to show you is right here, this stuff. This is actually called pillow lava. And there, there's the path up to the summit. You can see a couple of people making their final street. Pillow proves that at one time, this particular mountain was actually underwater, or most of it anyway. 35,000 feet high, you've got you know, a bit of scope there. But this stuff is where the lava has seeped down into the water and instantly cooled on the outside and cooled more slowly on the inside. And it's produced these sort of bubbly things. Some of them are actually hollow, like an aero bar. Yeah, pillow lava, right on the top. Okay. We're on our way down now. I'm going to cross over the col in between those two humps that you can see and drop down the other side to the car. So, that's it. About 50 minutes and I'll be back in the car and on my way home. There's no need really for me to show you the route down. It's just very straightforward. So, final shot of a wonderful piece of rock and the sea. We'll be coming back again lots of times. I love this place. There's so much to say about it. And for now, we'll see you on the hill.